What is going on everybody? David here and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time we will be taking a look at the Lennard Jumanji Charging Rhino. Now this is based off the uh, Jumanji movie line the next chapter. Um, Lennard was able to get the license to the uh, uh, film to make the uh, figures for it I'm very excited about it. Um, if you've been following my channel, uh, sometime at the end of last year, I reviewed uh, the Ferocious Tiger and the uh, uh, Jaguar, I think. And um, check out those videos. And um, also, my buddy Kevin, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, and I did a joint review on the Massive Hippo on the... Uh, savage af uh youtube channel the link will be in the description below uh check out that channel and subscribe if you hadn't because we do weekly um <clears throat> talks of toys and hunts and reviews and things like that uh with uh with my buddy harry uh sandman pr vlogs and uh brad campbell from the one man toy show and myself and kevin so check out that channel Loads of content, lots of stuff to watch. So, anyways, uh, that, that out of the way. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, still don't have a tripod, and I probably will be saying that until I get one. <laughs> That's why this thing looks uh, the way it's looking, because you know I gotta have to build a handmade one. But anyways, um, very happy to have this. I've been sitting on this for a while. Never had a chance to get it to review it till now. So, uh, with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the box real quick. And if you uh, if you collect uh, Jurassic World um, from Mattel, then you know that um, this is kind of have a remnants of the packaging uh, where they did their Roarvors line and stuff, the open box style packaging, and um, very cool. And then they had the little button that you press down there, the the action feature, and Instead of a T-Rex, they have a, uh, a tiger or a jaguar a roaring uh, sound uh, symbol to let you know the uh, gimmick that it does. And you can only find this at Walmart. Uh, so go out to your local Walmart when you, when you can. And when you go buy food and all that stuff, but be safe. Wear a mask. Use, use gloves. Uh, so that way, when you handle stuff, you can pick these up and uh, you know support you, uh, your... Jumanji toys, you know, and uh, I haven't seen the movie yet, so very really excited to see it. And uh, truth be told, I haven't even seen the second one yet. I've only seen the first one, but um, once they're all released, I think I might go ahead and watch Beans watch them all. Anyways, I'm getting off subject. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging uh, right here on the top left hand corner. It says Jumanji. You got a picture of the rock, and then you got a. Uh, a leopard right here and then you got the LT uh, Lennard or Lannard depending on how you want to pronounce it uh, it's just charging rhino and then in, in the top of the packaging you have Jumanji here charging rhino and then in the middle you got your uh, open contents right there and then you get the rhino and then you get your human right there then on the side of the box Got Jumanji with the uh, the rock and uh, a leopard, or it could be a cheetah, however you want to look at it. Then I forgot to mention that you got this boa right there, and then here on the other side it says Jumanji realistic in action and sound. You got the rhino and bamboo, a baboon, not bamboo, <laughs> baboon, and the rock again. And then on the back of the packaging. Um, Pretty much the same thing, Jumanji, Charging Rhino, Realistic Rhino Sounds, Action and Head Movement. You know, you got your prototype image right there. And then you have the uh, the button where you press down with the sounds, and then, you know, the action feature button, and then you get the sound uh, right there, symbol right there. And then it says Adventure Awaits, sorry about the glare. So if you want to pause that and read that, you can. And then it says Collect Them All, Get Wild. So... The um, only one I need left is the elephant. I'm hoping to get that fairly soon. And then at the bottom, it's just basically um, just shows you how to 
uh, change out the batteries and stuff. Helpful hints, battery warnings, things like that. Then here's the, the, the UPC if you need it, but you most likely will be able to find this. All right, let's go ahead and break this Rhino out of its packaging along with its uh, human. Okay, so we finally got the uh, Rhino out of its uh, packaging. So first of first, let's go ahead and take a look at the human. Um, I don't know who this is supposed to be. Uh, some people say it's supposed to be Jack Black's character, but I highly doubt it because he's not that thin. <laughs> but um, I guess it's just, just a random person that they added, so it doesn't clarify what it is. But um, <clears throat> this is probably a reused of an uh, old uh, um, Elite Corpse, uh, corpse uh, uh, figure. You know, they always like to reuse their molds and stuff like that. You know, just different paint schemes. But uh, basically, this is your basic uh, elite uh, reused uh, corpse uh, uh, human. <laughs> um, I don't know too much about them because I don't collect those. I just basically collect uh, um, the the movie lines that Lennard does. You know, so I don't really own any elite corpse figures. So... I couldn't tell you uh, the original character or mold that they used for this one. But um, <clears throat> it looks really nicely done right here as far as the uh, paint scheme on the face. So nicely done right there. Looks like his mustache is a little, uh, one side's a little longer than the other. So it looks like the uh, paint kind of bled in onto the lips. And... Um, but other than that, everything else looks good, besides the uh, paint bleeding on the lips for the uh, mustache. So very nice detail and everything. Um, it didn't come with any weapons or anything. So this uh, gun is molded in there on the side of its leg. So then the boots are nicely done as well. It's got the knife that's molded in as well. And then as far as articulation goes, you got a swivel at the waist, uh, the head goes back and forth, and kind of goes up and down a little bit. So, <clears throat> and then you got a hinge, a ball hinge shoulders right there, and then you got a single jointed elbow, and then the legs go up and down, and then you got a single jointed knees. So, all in all, very nice uh, figure if you want to add to your corpse collection or whatnot. Uh, so, the only other lines I have as far as uh, what the Lard, Lard has done is the uh, Rampage uh, movie figures and the uh, Kong Skull Island. And also, I have uh, just started getting into the uh, Alien collection. So, I got two more items that I need to get. And then I'll do reviews on all of the uh, Alien collection. Of course, you know, I still got a couple more um, <clears throat> animals to get for the Jumanji line, which we'll do a collection update here in, in a bit. So with him being aside, so let's go ahead and take out, check out, or take out, well, you can take him out if you want, but <laughs> check out this uh, Rhino. Wow. I have to say that this is an amazing sculpt, you know, and I always rave about um, <clears throat> Mattel's Jurassic World dinosaurs and how they have uh, awesome sculpts, you know, with the skin and the muscular structure and all that. But this, this is amazing, you know. It's just the way that the, the skin folds and the muscular tone the highlights, the shading. I mean, you could see every little detail. You could tell this is a rhino, you know. The hump right there, the uh, the the fat, <laughs> you know, overlapping. <clears throat> and then the face. The face is incredible. Look at that. I mean, this is this is a fifteen dollar toy, you know, and it, it comes with a lot of detail and everything. Look at that. You know this, this is a, a rhino. So, the eyes, the nostril, the mouth, everything is just perfect. You know, the feet, you know. I mean, this thing is 
Look at that. Great detail. And the coloring, you know, it's kind of got that uh, gray wash to it with, this, with a little bit of shading. As you can tell where the shading is right there inside the, uh, where the uh, um, shoulder and legs are. Right there. And then you can see the shading right there. All right there in the back side of the legs. You know, this thing's amazing. And on the front, the face, you get a little bit of shading around the neck and around the ears. You know, this is a pretty beefy figure. This is this is this is a weighty figure, you know. And it packs a punch too. And then as far as articulation goes, you know, not very much. Doesn't do a whole lot, just mainly you can't go back, but you can do forwards, you know. And then the same thing here. You can go back, but you can't go forward. So, and then if you notice that uh, uh, it's got its own stamp with the J representing the Jumanji with the slash marks going right through that J. So that's their uh, logo right there for this uh, toy line. But uh, but yeah, man, this thing is incredible. I love this figure. I'm so happy that I was able to finally get animals. You know, that actually make noise and they're good size. You know, it's wrong with the little plastic models, but this, this is more my style. And so if you see that there's a button rack there, uh, I like how it's somewhat hidden. I mean, you can still see that there's a big cutout with the button, but if you display it on your shelf like that, you know, you're not going to really be like, oh, hey, there's a button right there. I like the little tail right there, stuff like that. There, so. so all you got to do is just, I think this makes like two or three sounds. You know, I'm not sure. I think two, maybe one. Well, but we're about to check it out and find out. So. Now, this is nice and loud and crisp, you know. Uh, the Roar of Wars itself, they're not as loud. Uh, I don't think, but I know these Jumanji toys, they, they, get, they pack, pack some sound to it. Now, <clears throat> we're about to do some comparisons here real quick. So let's go ahead and uh, bring out, um, let's see, who should we compare it to? All right, so we got Amy right here from the Congo line by Kenner. We'll compare her right there. There's a charging rhino. Yeah, you know, it's play compatibility, you know. Not too bad, you know, it's a pretty good size right there. And then we got um, Kohega from the Kenner line, from the Congo line. So that looks pretty good right there as well. So not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and fix this gun. So really like that a lot. And let's... uh bring out a couple of Jurassic World stuff. So here we have the uh, Primal A, uh, Primal Attack uh, Soundstrike Triceratops. So let's uh, let's do a uh, sound difference and see what you think is louder or what sounds better. So we're going to do the Triceratops first. So, uh, what do y'all think? Which one's louder? You think the uh, the Triceratops was loud, or do you think the Rhino is loud? Um, me personally, um, although the Triceratops does sound good, I think the uh, Rhinoceros is a little bit louder. Let's go ahead and move the uh, track aside, and then let's bring in the Massive Biters Sarcosuchus. <clears throat> now, this looks pretty good, you know. Now, granted, uh, crocodiles today are not this huge, but for prehistoric times, you know, this thing pretty much is, was in scale with, if not larger than that. So let's go ahead and bring out this little guy right here. So as you can tell, you can see how big uh, in scale that the Sarcosuchus was compared to um, a human back in the day. So... Pretty incredible, wasn't it? 
All right, so uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and do a collection update. We'll move the rhino aside and bring back our human character. Let's see. And then let's bring in our massive hippo. Now, the Massive Hippo is pretty massive, and it's a little bit more heavier than uh, um, <clears throat> the Rhino, but the Rhino does have its weight to it, but it's not as heavy as the Hippo. And then uh, here is our Panther, or Jaguar, or Elusive Jaguar. I just now remembered the name. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead. We got one more figure to bring in. I just love this line. This line is amazing. I mean, just for the price point, what you get that Lenard has provided for us, it's incredible. So here's our ferocious tiger. Now, this guy's a little bit more harder. I, I've seen him a little bit more often now, but I remember in the beginning, I could not find him anywhere. But um, <clears throat> I think he comes maybe one per pack. I wouldn't be surprised. So now I got these. Now I need the the elephant, the baby elephant, and I need the little uh, the pack that comes with the uh, the the uh, boar, vulture, and the cheetah, I think, and it comes with the uh, the sound strike or sound uh, lion. So I did, that's why I hadn't bought the individual lion yet because it comes in the multi pack. There was a, a multi pack with the. Uh, the charging rhino that comes with the rock, uh, a jeep, a wolf, and I think one more animal. <clears throat> I did see it, but I never did get a chance to pick it up. But now I, I hadn't seen it there anywhere, so I don't know if I'm ever going to find that or not. But it's okay though. I, but I do want the jeep and the wolf. You know that the animals that come with that, I want those. I want the jeep. You know, I don't necessarily have to have the rhino again or the rock. <laughs> They're just straight repacks. But anyways, but yep, that's my collection so far for this line right here. And like I said, this line's amazing. I love this line to death. You know, so happy. So let's go ahead and get these guys out the way and just bring in the charging rhino. All right. Well. That will conclude the video right there. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you uh, what, what you think of this uh, Charging Rhino. If you have it in your collection or if you're looking to collect your Jumanji figures. I recommend them. I think they're amazing for the quality that you get for the price point. The level of detail is incredible. You know, I mean, they're just overall amazing figures, you know. Um, kudos to uh, Lannard or Lenard, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, I just love their products, as you know. I, like I said, I, I have their their Jumanji, or uh, yeah, I have some of their Jumanji line. I have their some of their uh, the Alien Collection line. I do have the Rampage and the Skull Island line. So uh, just just amazing stuff. You know, it has its flaws. You know, but as far as the animals go and the figures itself, not the human characters, but the actual uh, animals that come with that line are incredible you know amazing detail and stuff like that anyways i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did filming it um comment down below what you think of this um if you like them if you've seen the movies you know if you like the next level or if you like the uh um other jumanji films let me know in the comments and where's the wisdom but first off stay 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 indoors you know, just take care of the ones that, you know, that are close to you. Make sure that they stay, as, stay safe as well. And buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you'll always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.